What's up guys, it's Wicked Sarah here, coming at you with another tutorial video that I really don't know how to do, but I hope it helps you. So this one's going to be showing how I set up the Nightbot song request, which is a super cool feature. A lot of people seem to enjoy it, a lot of people have asked me how to set it up. So this is me trying to help you guys out and I'm going to try to do the best I can. So. You got your OBS set up, you got your capture card set up, but you want to add songs to the stream. This is how you do it. First, you're going to go ahead, open your browser, and go to nightbot.tv. Have it there already. Perfect. You're going to want to log in with your, your... Well, first you're going to register. I already registered, so use the same name as your Twitch. I think you make up a different password. And then you go ahead and log in. Log in, log in, let's go. Okay, so this is the Nightbot control panel. Can be kind of tricky if you don't, if you're not sure what you're doing. Really cool though, you can see um, what's been going on with your chat, with the mods and Nightbot, who's been using Nightbot to time out all that, blah blah blah. But let's get to the song requests. So you're gonna see this long list of stuff over here. Obviously, you're gonna click the song requests. You got auto DJ manager. Um, request playlist where you can delete the songs that you don't want to be played you got your personal playlist over here I haven't really done anything with that with this yet but pretty sure you could just add your own stuff to play versus viewers I'm assuming so we're gonna go ahead and go to auto DJ and I'm gonna pause that <laughs> that's uh, the next song on my list you're gonna look right down here let me make sure you guys can see this. You're gonna look right down here um, where it says download external hotkeys, download current song for XSplit and OBS. Uh, you're gonna click the second one and it's gonna download. And I'm gonna open that up. It's in a compressed folder so we're gonna extract it. I don't like uh, files going all over the place so I'm gonna come over to the desktop add a new folder and we're gonna call this songs uh, obviously you could name that whatever you like we're gonna go to extract all and we're gonna tell this bish where it can go and that's gonna be our songs folder extract Ta -da. okay so you open up your folder, you got all your files in there. You're gonna see the settings. That's what we want to edit. So you're gonna open it up in your notepad, Word. Um, it opens up in notepad by default for me. You're gonna see username equals username. Obviously your name isn't username, so you put in your username. Um, refresh rate, this is how long it's gonna take for the song name and request the person who requested its name to update. 30 seconds seems like an awful lot to me for a song, so I usually keep it to five. That way I know it's gonna update right away. Um, format how the text will look. So right now it's telling me that your song name's gonna show up as current song colon and then the name of the song. Song request, the person who requested its name requested by the song. Usually I have some kind of graphic uh, that says now playing um, whoever and who it's by. So I usually delete these. You can keep them if you want. Um, this way, now that I have it like this, it will only show the song name, only show the person who requested it. So then you're going to want to control S or file save. Um, obviously it won't save those settings. Exit out of that and you're going to want to open the current song window and also open your W9X pop-in, but you can close that right away. So basically your current song window you want to make sure you have open while you're streaming. This is what's going to cause um, the program to update so you can see it's updating every five seconds. I usually just minimize it, leave it up for the whole stream. Uh, like I said, you need that open for the text to change on your stream. By opening that, you're going to see that these other 
of files opened up and I'm going to show you what to do with those in one second. Alrighty, so now what we need is a graphic or, or what I prefer to have a graphic or something to, uh, to have the songs on top of so you can see them better. So we're going to, we're going to go to global sources, add image, and I'm going to call this song bar. Okay. You're going to find your image. Sorry about that. Mine happens to be. I moved it to the song folder so it would be easily uh, found and you're going to hit OK. OK. Now we got to right click on our sources, add our new global source, keep the name and you can see it appeared right up top nice and pretty. So you can see I already have the now playing requested by. I prefer it that way because I can match it to the graphic versus the longer text uh, running back and forth. Um, now we're going to add our song test, te uh, excuse me, text. Um, like I said, with the global sources, it takes a bit longer, but it's going to pay off because if you have multiple scenes, um, if you have multiple scenes that need your song name and stuff, all of it will already be set up and it's a lot easier to add to your other scenes. So you see what I did there? I'm going to add a text. Uh, a text source. I'm going to call it song name because this is going to be the name of the song. We're going to hit OK. You can change your font settings here. Um, I usually go with this one. You're going to have to play uh, with your size. You can change the scroll. I usually keep it around 10. Um, opacity etc etc you're gonna use you're gonna check use text from file because you're not entering your own text you're gonna pull your text from the text file that uh, nightbot gives you so you're gonna go to browse and it's already right in my songs folder you're gonna see current song combined current song name and current song request request D excuse me I like to keep mine separate you can use this one which will show both the request D name and the song name if you don't have room for both if you're basically gonna add them all the same way so I'm gonna click on song name because that's the one I'm doing and I'm gonna hit OK so now it's in my global sources and again I have to just uh, add it through there so you can see it's up here it's scrolling it's beautiful you hit on edit scene to move that and it's gonna fit right there perfect um, if you want to adjust how far the scroll can go over you're gonna right click on that layer go to properties and right here it says use custom text extents you're gonna check that and you can see it adjusted um, my thingy right here but here's your size I think this is the length so you change it and it'll basically change the bound, uh, the bounding box to how big you want it to go and vertical right here I don't need to do that in this case because it fits perfectly so that's great and really quick I'll just add the other one so you can see but like I said um, pretty much going to be done the same exact way. You can change the font color, customize it however you want. I usually keep the scroll speed the same. Actually sometimes with the request D I don't scroll it because the Twitch usernames are relatively small um, so I don't really have to worry about that. And we're going to go to current song request D and hit OK. Okay, we're gonna add this and oops, wrong one, my bad. We're gonna go to global source and request D. Okay, and it's up there in the corner, not moving, just like we like it. And we're gonna bring it over here. I usually keep it over here uh, in case the name's longer. I'm actually gonna make that bold so it matches. So there you go. It's simple. It's beautiful. It's cute. It's awesome. So 
like I said, if you want to reorder objects, you just click on it, hold control, move up or down, it'll go, you know, behind your different layers, uh, play with it that way. Um, so now, the rest comes from the Nightbot website. Just uh, in case you haven't figured it out, you need to have the auto DJ window open and your computer sound on for the stream to hear the music because they're basically hearing it coming from your speakers. And it's gonna play um, from your song request list down like this. So I would just have it, um, I would just have it playing right here. You can adjust the volume this way. Um, and like I said, this window needs to stay open. And as you can see, if I skip this song, it's going to refresh here in a minute. And it's also going to show it up here. Holy crap, why did it do that? So that means we have to go into song name, properties, and I am going to have to adjust this so it doesn't peek out. Didn't think I had to, but I do. Um, so yeah, that's how you keep it from from going off the map like that. But yeah, that's basically how you set up your song requests. It's a really cool feature to have in your stream. Just watch out for the troll songs, obviously. Um, that part of it can get annoying. But yeah, I mean, people like seeing their name up there and hearing the song that they requested. So it's a really good feature to have. Mad props tonight for working that out for everybody. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I hope this video helped someone out, all of you out, really. Um, I tried to be as clear as possible. I'm not sure uh, if there's anything I missed that I should have covered. But yeah, that's basically it. hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.